Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series where today we are having a look at the Arcade Terminals mod which is being made by user Pra and what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is craftable arcade machines that you can build in your settlements. And I love this mod as these things are simply gorgeous, as you can see right here. Now we have a six arcade terminals that we can create, one, of course, for each of the game hollow discs that we can find scattered around the Commonwealth. We do have Grognak the Barbarian, Zeta Invaders, Automatron, Atomic Command, Red Menace, and Pitfall. And as you can see, each of them not only has an interesting color to the terminal itself, but also does have its own texturing, even on the sides, to give it more of a unique look, which is pretty awesome. My two favorite definitely have to be the Automatron one here and Atomic Command. Very, very cool texturing on both of these. The Zeta Invader one also being cool, and I mean, come on, who doesn't like Grognak the Barbarian. The one small problem with this terminal, it has, uh, as you can see, the wrong name here. It does play Grognak the Barbarian, but for some reason it says Atomic Command. It's the only one with the incorrect name on it. The rest have that correctly, but all of them will play the proper game. And so how do you get your hands on these? Well, it is pretty simple. First and foremost, you are gonna have to need in your inventory the different game hollow discs. You do have to have these to build them. Now, thankfully, you don't actually lose them in construction. You just need them to be there for you to build the machine. And then with that out of the way, you just have to go into the workshop mode. It'd help if I press down the right button. There we are. And then simply head over to power, or not power, yes, power. And then miscellaneous. Oh, my brain is all over the place today. So power and then miscellaneous. And as you can see, we have all six of the arcade terminals right here. Now they will require, as you can see, rubber, copper, circuitry, and aluminum, and also do require one power, but will produce happiness. Now, ignore the fact that my settlement is losing happiness. This is my test game, and oh boy, have I broken sanctuary. But yes, these will, in a proper settlement, actually help increase your people's happiness. And what is quite fun, if you put them in an area that's pretty well trafficked, your settlers should use them. I have only seen it once so far, but there is a small chance if they're walking by it that they will start to use it, which is pretty cool. That always adds a nice little bit of immersion, I think, to any part you can add to a settlement. Now, to show off the fact that uh, you do have to have the holotape in your inventory, we, of course, do have the Automatron one here. And if I exit out and then just uh, drop that on the ground there, you'll see it right Right in front of us but now if we do go back into the workshop mode again it would help if I press the right button and head to power miscellaneous and as you can see we no longer have that in there there are now only five of the arcade machines it doesn't even show up in here if you don't have the proper hollow disk so that is always something to remember you do need them in your inventory to build and then of course once you have them connected to power you'll have all the wonderful games that you can just go up and use and play and it is glorious. I mean, come on, who doesn't love all these fun little games inside of, you know, the main game? It's just entertaining. But yes, that is the Arcade Terminals mod. Not exactly a whole lot to go over with this thing. It's just fun. Just make sure you have the hollow disks in your inventory and then build them with the proper materials, provide them with electricity, and watch as your settlers become happier because they got games to play. And who doesn't want that in life? Who does not want that? But that is going to be it for this episode, my friends. If you'd like to check out this mod for yourself, and I would definitely recommend that you do, you can take a look at the link in the description as per usual. But uh, yeah, I hope you all have enjoyed, and of course that you do come back for the next episode. But until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one.